Hi, I'm Jimmy. I play drums in Love Be a Dance Machine. What is your favorite hangout spot? My favorite hangout spot is Isaiah's apartment. That's where we hang out a lot. My favorite spot in the apartment is Wiley's couch. Do you have any unusual rituals before the show? Uh, I don't know if unusual. Uh, before the show, after the show, I always change my socks and underwear. So I have an after show ritual, I guess. Um, what has been your craziest fan encounter so far? Um, I don't know. Like crazy, like bad crazy or good crazy? It doesn't matter. Uh, I would say when we came to the All Time Low show, uh, there was a bunch of people here who knew us now. It's pretty cool. Okay, so what annoys you the most? When Alex sits in the back of our van and like does that for a long time, that right there kills me. Because he'll just do it for like 45 minutes, and that's a long time to be in a, a van with somebody making that noise. Um, what was the first concert you ever attended? The first concert I ever attended, my mom saw Stevie Ray, Vaughn, and Jeff Beck while she was pregnant with me. So I consider that the first concert That's I ever awesome. did. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So what are some bands that have been your biggest influence so far? Um, I would say just like in general with the band, Saves the Day, We Found Glory, Blink-182. Then we also like bands like Cartel, Fall Out Boy. Uh, I don't know. Those are the big ones. Where do you see yourself and the band in five years? Five years. I know we'll, I'll still be playing drums, and hopefully the band will be. You know, I think we could be touring on bigger shows and bigger. Hopefully the House venues. of Blues. Yeah, we played the House of Blues once before, but I like to do it on a regular basis. What are some of your pet peeves? Uh, I don't like when people chew with their mouth open. I think that's a big one. That's a pretty big one. What is one thing you could live without besides food and water? Uh, playing drums or listening to music. I think there's two things you handle. Who is your celebrity crush? Ooh. Wiley Esten. No, um, my actual celebrity crush? I don't know. I have to think about it. Who is the girl in the notebook? What's her name? Rachel McAdams? Yeah, her. Her, Rachel McAdams. You're my celebrity crush, though I didn't know your name. What are your views on bullying? I think bullying is, like, awful. Um, it's not necessary. Uh, it makes everybody just have a bad day, so go bully. It's not cool. Um, how did you guys come up with the band name? Eric did. Uh, he wrote a, a couple demos and came up with an idea for our band the summer before we all met at college. So we weren't even a part of it, but he, like, that's what he wanted to call it. He told us it. We thought it was dumb, but we all remembered it the next day, so we decided to go with it, yeah. So how long have you guys been together? Um, I guess it's two years, technically, since our first practice, it was two years last week. Um, but we've been playing shows for a year now. So when's your birthday, and how old yeah. are you? My birthday is February 18th. 1990, and I'm 20 years old. Um, have you ever fanboyed over a band you look up to when you met them? Um, never outwardly, but like, you know, sometimes I do a little, little bitter patterns when I'm near some people that I've never seen. I guess the, the coolest one was I worked at Jingle Ball 2008, and the bass player for Aerosmith was backstage when we, uh, in between like sets, and I was like working on the drum for different, the different drummers. But when I saw him, I geeked out pretty hard, but he didn't see me, and it really didn't matter. It was pretty cool though. Okay, so a couple fun questions. What is your favorite customer? Uh, shit. Alright. Yeah. If you could plan your funeral, what would it be like? I don't know. I feel like I've always wanted, I've always wanted to like ha be cremated and have my ashes put into a lacquer on a drum shell. 
So I think it'd be funny if, if like that happened, but we did a whole drum set and people came in, they just saw like a drum set and it was just me mixed in with the paint. It'd be kind of weird, but I think it's pretty funny. Pretty cool actually. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty sweet. Okay, the last question. If you woke up the opposite sex, what would you do? Um, I don't know. I guess I'd just kind of go with it. I don't know. It'd be a little weird. It'd take me a week or two to get used to, but I think I can figure it out.